Ready and fire! Okay, here's the combustion chamber assembled with a fan and a spark gap. Let's see that. And this will be wired up to a uh, barbecue igniter. And I got my pressure rated reducer bushings here. My fan power source here with a little LED so that, uh, let's see. All right, here's the combustion chamber for the one inch gun. This is a metered propane design. Two inch ball valve for exhaust. And uh, there's the uh, battery pack for the fan with an LED to indicate power on. There's the fuel meter. And there's our uh, pressure gauge. A little, um, little bit of pipe for fuel. And then I got a small propane cylinder there with a trigger valve for, uh, for the fuel. Uh, <clears throat> it's a one inch bore. Got slip in barrels. I'm using uh, schedule 41 inch pipe for the barrel. So what we're going to do, I got a piece of tape over it here, so we're going to do a little flame test here. Fan running. Let's fuel it up. Found it takes about 30 psi. Is just about right. Let's see if we can get there. A little bit more. That ought to do it. All right, let's kill the lights and see what kind of flame we can get out of this thing. Excellent. So for your ammunition, uh, these one inch plastic balls happen to fit just, just nearly perfectly in uh, Schedule 40 tubing. So uh, I'm going to set up a little short barrel shot and see how that works out. Okay, I got the ball loaded in there. I got just a one, little one foot short barrel. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'd say that works pretty good. Okay, the real barrel is uh, housed in this suppressor here. And let's see, we got uh, got an O-ring there to help seal it. And then I got three set screws that help to hold the ball in place. And this is a three inch drain pipe with some fittings to let the barrel slide through. It's going to be a breech loading design with kind of a bolt action. And there's the uh, the outbound side. Okay, there's the whole thing. Pistol grip with barbecue igniter, fuel system, stock made from a 2x4. There's the uh, bolt action breech with the gate to uh, bring the handle down, pushes this into there. The barrel basically slides in and out of the suppressor. And there's the end of the stock. Barrel. So here's loading. It's up right there. And then bring that down. Makes a nice tight seal. All right, here we go. Alright, we got a box full of magazines down there. Okay, there we go. There's the holes. Pretty much punches right through. And, uh, let's see here. Okay, and some of the balls come back with 
pieces of paper stuck on them. And uh, some of them shatter. Let's see here with these. So they're reusable a lot of the time, but not always. I'm standing in the light.